The night of Sunday, November 13th, 2022, a charter bus returns to the grounds of the University of Virginia to drop off 22 students and a professor who had traveled to Washington, D.C. earlier in the day to attend a play about the tragically short life of Emmett Till. At about 10.15 p.m., the bus parks outside the Colbert Garage, just steps away from UVA's famously painted Beta Bridge. As the trip ends, gunfire begins. Three students are killed, two more seriously wounded. 1039, the university sends out an alert asking students and staff to shelter in place. 1043, an urgent follow-up message, run, hide, fight. November 14, 1237 a.m., police identify the suspect as Christopher Darnell Jones, Jr., a UVA student and former football player who graduated from Petersburg High School. So I've never experienced anything like this before. Um, I was telling someone, like, we're going to remember this for the rest of our lives. Under the cover of darkness, a statewide manhunt intensifies throughout the early morning hours. Still a very active and scary scene for students and families. 11 a.m., the university announces that the three killed were football players Devin Chandler, Deshaun Perry, Lavelle Davis Jr. Moments later, UVA Police Chief Tim Longo Pardon me. receives word. Thank you, Captain. We just received information the suspect is in custody. The alleged gunman captured after a traffic stop on Edgelon Street in Eastern Henrico. One search over while the quest for answers is just getting started. What happened? What happened? Uh, why did it have to get this far? Prior to the shootings, Jones had twice caught the attention of UVA's threat assessment team once as part of a hazing investigation and most recently two months prior when someone told Student Affairs that Jones talked about having a gun. That night, a grieving student body mourns by candlelight. November 15th, one of the surviving victims is identified as Mike Collins, also a football player. The other, a female student named Marley Morgan. And a witness from the bus breaks her silence. And then after he pushed him, he was like, um, you're all, you guys are always messing with me. He said something weird like that, but it was very bizarre because they didn't talk to him the whole trip. That night, CBS 6 is first to report that Jones bought guns legally at a sporting goods store in Colonial Heights, though he had twice previously been rejected by the store. State police confirming that an active investigation is open into a failed purchase from 2021. November 16th, Jones makes his first court appearance, an Albemarle County judge ordering he be held without bond. November 17th, per the university's request, Attorney General Jason Mieres announces an independent probe will be conducted. Virginia State Police takes over the criminal investigation at the request of the university and UVA police to determine what happened before, during, and after the shootings. November 19th. A shocking event that reverberated around grounds and around the world. Thousands attend a memorial service at John Paul Jones Arena. December 15th, a lawyer for Perry's family says the university made a mistake in the way it handled a potential threat posed by Jones prior to the bus trip. Threat assessment was not conducted correctly. Uh, they could have removed him from campus well before this incident. March 14, 2023, a miraculously healed Hollins rejoins the Cavaliers for spring practice. September 9th, emotions run high inside Scott Stadium as the team plays its first home game since the tragedy. That same month, a grand jury indicts Jones on more than a dozen new charges, including multiple counts of aggravated murder, which carry with them a life sentence. October 20th, the Attorney General announces that the outside investigation is complete and the results will be sent to the university. 
but not released to the public. School leaders later say that will happen once they review and fact check the report. November 2nd, the Board of Visitors holds a closed meeting to discuss potential litigation stemming from the shootings and plans to make changes to public safety on campus.